Jay poking his family. In this episode, we're gonna go ahead and open up an EV10. I picked this up at Target last year. It was a Black Friday special for $10. As you can see, EV was happy in this picture because I picked him up. But in this one, he's mad because I got him from $10. So that was a good deal in there. So he's really upset on that one. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and read this. So we got the V power in your collection. More Pokemon V are here. Choose a giant crushing strength of Eternatus V, the peerless courage of Pikachu V, and the loyal heart of Eevee in this trading, the Pokemon trading card game, V Power Tin. Each of these fantastic tins contain a powerful Pokemon V with the spirit and the will to overcome or outfight and to win all your next Pokemon battle. In this tin, you'll find one of three Pokemon V, which contain, which you can be the Turnus V, of course, the Pikachu V, or the EV. An additional four booster packs and a code card for the online game. What I'm surprised now that I noticed that the tins are made in the USA. I believe before they were made in China, so that's pretty cool. They're made here in the United States. These tins are nice. I did pick up six of them in total. Gonna open three of them for the channel. And then I'm gonna keep three sealed. So let's go ahead and crack this sucker open. And don't be mad because I got you for $10, okay, Evie? Oh! I don't remember what packs were in this um, tin. I opened up that turn, as like I said, I mentioned earlier. And that was couple of months ago so I don't remember what packs were in here and you can see the promo which is a black star promo there you go you guys see that what number is that 65 I'm gonna go ahead and sleeve her up or him up is Evie a male or female looks like a female to me what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> All right, so let's check out what packs we got. So I got I'll give you guys the code card in a bit. So we got a battle styles. And then we also got a digit voltage. Cool. And we got a darkness of blaze. That's cool. And a rebel clash. And a rebel clash. I know a lot of people don't like rebel clash, but I haven't really opened that many rebel clash for the channel. Open up maybe a handful of them so far. So I'm already behind on the collecting the set. I'm happy with that. And you can see nothing else in the tin. We'll go ahead and put the lid back on here and put it in the backdrop. Did you guys check out my episode 22 from Revolving Skies? You gotta see that. I put some heat on that. I was very happy on that one. You gotta see it. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the Rebel Clash, and I guess we'll do the Darkness of Blaze, and then Battle Styles, and then we'll save the Vivid Voltage last. All right, sounds good. Okay, let's get into it. All right, Rebel Trash. <laughs> I know people say call it Rebel Trash, but it's, this is a nice set still. Doesn't matter what folks say about it, right? Negative stuff about it. Okay, it looks like I'm gonna get a hitter because I got a white coat card. That's awesome. That's perfect. And I just destroyed that up. I usually save them for my Instagram. So let's go ahead and do the four to the front. One, two, three, four. And I hope I didn't put it upside down. We'll find out. And it's gonna be water. Ooh, lightning, it was upside down. <laughs> okay, lightning. Hatterim. Is it Crow Crow? <laughs> Beware. It looks pretty cool. Beware. Impenlip. <laughs> Magmar. Electro Buzz. Then we got a Slover. And a Squee Whiff. How do you say that? Squee Whiff. And I see something in the back. Uh oh. Uh oh. A Duranton Reverse Hollow. And that might be, <laughs> I think this might be the first V I pulled out of the um, Rebel Clash. That's awesome. 
All right, that's cool. I'm happy with this tin so far. I know usually the tins or even the collection boxes, you don't really pull any heat. I opened up a bolt on, let's say a couple of weeks ago and I pulled no heat. It was just all reverse hollows on there and non-hollow. That was really a bummer. So I bought another one. In fact, I'm gonna probably open that um, my next um, episode. All right, so here's the code card for the Ripple Clash. And let's get into Darkness Ablaze. See what we get out of Darkness Ablaze. Hope we get something good, right? As you can see, my cel on celebrations, watch there's an episode that my daughter pulled a Charizard um, from Darkness Ablaze. So that was cool that she pulled that. All right, so we got four for the front, and it is going to be grass. Nope. Metal. The trio. For the Eridos. OPC. That's an old school PC, right? What is that right there? Is that a drink? And it's we got. How do you say this guy's name again? Whip it. And they roll it. And a sentient. <laughs> oh my goodness. Galarian Dakuma. Grimer. And a roller reverse hollow from Darkness of Blaze and a clean clang non hollow. Let me go ahead and sleeve up the roll it reverse hollow. And I know my pronunciations of the Pokemon is very bad. I know. I'm trying to work on that. All right, battle styles. You guys see my battle styles playlist. I'm working on the collector's binder. So I'm basically done with the battle styles. Just still getting some, some hidden rares and some reverse hollows. And I should have my master set complete on the battle styles. And now, dang it, so dead. And now um, I'm working on the evolving skies. So we got some waiting right there. So we got one, two, three, four, and it is going to be fighting. Nope. Ooh, grass, kiss my grass. Pig Knights, Rapid Strike, Squirrel of Squirrels, <laughs> Blue Font, Esper, Timber, Timber. Galarian Slowpoke, and a Corfish, a Sandlit, Claydol Reverse Hollow, and an Angus Slash Non Hollow. I believe I already have this one for the binder, but I still sleep it up because I do want to protect it. Don't want to damage my cards, right? All right, Pikachu. Vivid Voltage is next. And let me give you guys a cold card from Darkness of Blaze. There you go. All right, so we got Vivid Voltage. Give me some fire. Give me some heat. Give me something good. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, and it is going to be. Hmm. It's called Psychic. Psychic. Nope. Fire. Uh oh. Is that a sign? Opal. Mentang. Brillograph. Execute. Chato. Fabapus. Skiddo, skip to my dude, my darling, ship it, Dilbo reverse hollow, and ooh, look at that, no, 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 <laughs> hollow though, we got a hollow, that's cool, I'm happy with that, Lugia, right, Lugia, dang it, yep, all right, okay, so you have the Dilbo, and I'll be right back with the recap, for our recap, we got the Duron Reverse Hollow from Rebel Clash, a Rowlet Reverse Hollow from Darkness of Blaze, also a Clay Doll Reverse Hollow from Battle Styles, and then a Dilber Reverse Hollow from Vivid Voltage, then a Lugia Hollow from Vivid Voltage, and then we also got the Magmar V from Vivid, from sorry, from Rebel Clash. <laughs> 
And of course, we've got the EVV card promo from the 10. And for my next episode, I want to open up another Bolton B box. Hopefully, this one I'll be able to pull some fire. I'm going to try my luck again. I was really saddened on the last one I opened up. Got no hits at all, just reverse hollows and non hollows. So we'll try that again. And here's you guys' code card from Battle Styles. Also, we got one from Vivid Voltage. And congrats on who grabs this one. Follow my Instagram and sub to the channel, please. Drop me a comment. And I'll see you guys on the next one. You guys take care of each other. See you later. Bye.